Santos to live with Lauren on Instagram Live. Yeah. Hi. Now, the first segment on the show is something that's directly for the fans, uh, specifically a very um, tight uh, contingent of fans. And these fans are putting together videos uh, where they have each member of the cast saying that they stand Samosa. Samosa, of course, being the couple name. Jonah Sims, Amy Sosa. Mm -hmm. I stand Samosa being that I, you know, I love their relationship. So the first okay. thing I'm wondering is, would you be willing for the fans to just say that you stand Samosa? I stand Samosa. Thank you. I stand Samosa. <laughs> Feldman was the first person we did some trivia with, and he did very poorly. Now, I'll be honest, I've made yours a little bit challenging, but that's because I believe that you have more knowledge of the show than Ben does. What? <laughs> what? But listen, hints are allowed. You can ask me to give you hints, and then quite often the fans will help in the comments. So if you're stuck, okay. if you read the comments, you may have some help. All right. Okay. Question one. In All Nighter, what does Mateo drink to in the Never Have I Ever game that no one else does? Oh, I mean like a, uh, eating human flesh. Yes! First point! Correct! <laughs> First uh, point, correct! All right, question two. In season four, episode four, entitled Costume Competition, what costume does Mateo start the episode in, and then what costume does he change into? Uh, milkman, old-timey milkman, vintage milkman, turning into Miss Tippy Hedren from The Birds. That is no? half correct. Wait, what? You have mixed up the Halloweens. Tippy Hedren oh is my... correct. Okay. Do you want a second guess at what the first costume was? It Mario. Was milkman. What's that? Mario? No, that's that was America's costume. That was America. Jesus Christ. But that's the right episode. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, I was Tippy Hedren. What was I before? I give up. You were a baseball player. Oh my God! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Honey. But guess what? You still get you still get a point for Tippy because that was a question worth two points. Thank Here's you, a thank fun you. one. Okay. Mateo says that he got his green card when he went to the green card store with his grandmother, where they sell green cards. Knock off handbags and what? Bootleg Spider Man DVDs. Yes! <laughs> you're killing this! See, I knew I could make yours. These are harder than the ones I gave Ben, by the way. So. Uh, what, Ben? How, how is he bad at this? In Color Wars, was Mateo on Team Gold or Team Red? Red? Correct! Okay. Ooh, wow! Yes. This game is built for Nico Santos. All oh right. Two more questions. Uh, for his next one is, in Quinceanera, what song does Mateo and Cheyenne sing to try and make Amy cry? You're the wind beneath my wings. Yes! <laughs> I'm very proud of you. This is awesome. Okay, this last one is a bonus question because this is coming from the original questions I asked Ben, and he got okay. it wrong. But it also the question also involves you, so I want to see if you can get it right. Okay. In episode 320, Gender Reveal, written by Lauren Ash, uh -huh. Mateo references a very famous movie that Jonah shockingly reveals he's never seen. What was that movie? What was The Princess Bride? No, I'll give you a hint. It's the scene where you guys are talking about playing good cop and bad cop with Jeff. And you're being complimented, Mateo is being complimented about what a good actor he is. And then, and Mateo references like, have you seen blank? Oh my God. Deborah oh, Winger doesn't actually tears, have an answer. Tears, <laughs> tears, terms of endearment. Yes! Tears of endearment. Well, listen, you killed it. You basically got a perfect score. If I add in the bonus points, you got a perfect score. So... Yes. Brett and Jonah get into a fist fight. Who wins? Brett. Correct. Uh, <laughs> I love that I'm saying it, that there's a right or wrong answer. <laughs> um, if you had to 
quarantine with any of the characters from Superstore, not the actors, the characters, who would you choose? Uh -huh. Dina would be prepared. Dina would, would have be. everything stocked up and ready and, you know. I think yeah. I would choose Dina too, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. Now, yeah. Uh, if what about the actors on the show? No pressure. I mean, if it wasn't you, because that's a given. Yes. Duh. Um, I'll pick Coleco. Yeah. Yeah. Solid choice. Solid, yeah, Coleco. Easy going, yeah. you know, fun to talk to. I mean- Not gonna get on your nerves. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. What's your favorite Mateo line you've said? Do you have a favorite? There's so many, but the one that I love from more recent memory is when Mateo um, sort of shades Amy and was like, don't worry about it. You obviously had a crazy morning. <laughs> and, and Amy's like looking like fabulous and flawless. And Mateo's just like, girl. Do you have any actor Ooh. dreams to guest star on the show? Who would you choose? Any actor? I would love to see, uh, this is actually Nicole's, uh, have been, has been wanting this to happen for a while, where she suggested that Ariana Grande play Corona. Oh. Her friend Corona. Yes. I think that would be amazing, actually. That's, that that's, would be hilarious. Yeah. Like, that would be perfect casting <laughs> for Ariana Grande to play Corona. Oh, perfect casting. <laughs> So the first okay. question is, what is Nico's guilty pleasure? I'm nervous about this game. It's gonna be great. Can I write two things? No, I'll just write one thing. Do whatever your heart says. Do whatever my heart says? Okay. Yeah. All right. I like it. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, what do some it? and- gra Grey's Anatomy. Ah! <laughs> That's great! <laughs> Video games again. I don't think you feel oh, guilty about it, no. and should you? But you love video games. I do. You know what? Yes, I do. I'm not as hardcore as like, like Colton, um, but like you know, like I was just playing Super Mario earlier today. <laughs> All right. Question two: What is okay. Lauren's hidden talent? What is Lauren Ash's hidden Let talent? Let me see. Okay, I, I'm. I'm going to write this. This may be wrong. But plays guitar. I say guitar. Ah, yeah. Ah. Okay, we get Sweet. a point. Question three: What is one thing Nico would bring if he were stranded on a desert island? I'm stranded on a desert island. Zeke, I said thank you. <laughs> you did? Yes. Oh my god. For a multitude of reasons. First of all, not only <laughs> is he your partner, but also yes. I was like. I think that's what you want on a desert island. <laughs> you know I what? Take Zeke. He'd, he'd know what to do. He, he would, would know, know what to do. do. He would he keep would you guys it. alive. <laughs> he would. He would. <laughs> uh. Question four: If Lauren wasn't an actor, she would be a what? I feel like this is a little too tame. Maybe, but say. Oh, a teacher! That's very sweet that you yeah. think I have the, the, the constitution for that. I, <laughs> I, said, think you do. I said a vet technician. Oh, well, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Question five <laughs> What is Nico's biggest pet peeve? Uh, yeah. Picky eaters! Oh, that's so good. I, I should have said that. I said. People mistaking him for other Asians that oh he my looks God. nothing like. <laughs> I mean, how could I forget? It happens all the time. Um, by the way, you yeah. still haven't congratulated me on my Oscar win, but you know, whatever. I'm so uh, sorry. I really, I, I am so sorry. I forgot that you wrote Parasite. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're welcome, world. Nico did not write Parasite. People are now congratulating <laughs> you. Question six. Now this might be a tough one. If Lauren could be any animal, which would she be? A chihuahua? Oh, I yes. mean. Yes, yes. But my a... power animal is the puffin. Oh, Lola Puffin. Lola Puffin. Yes, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. 
Now this last question, last question, final question. There was so many answers I could have come up with. I'm going to preface this by saying. Okay. <laughs> but I chose something that we could say publicly. <laughs> <laughs> and I will text you what I think the real answer is. Uh, what is the strangest thing we have done together? The strangest thing that we've done together that we can reveal on this platform. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> this is just a memory that popped into my head right now. And that's why I'm yeah. writing it. But it's eating in a restaurant two days in a row. The same restaurant. <laughs> when we went to Vegas. <laughs> That is, that was Remember so when amazing. <laughs> well, we had that amazing fancy sushi dinner and we're like, I think we need to eat there tonight Let's again. Let's go back. Now what right. I said was also Vegas based, but different Vegas trip. Uh-huh. Playing a game of mafia in a fancy restaurant. <gasps> oh, Remember? yeah, yes. That's, 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 that's our first Vegas trip. That's right. Yeah. First of many. All right, well listen, we did pretty well. We got two correct. I think that that was a win. Oh, good, yeah. Thank you so much. All right. I love give, you. Give Zeke a big hug and kiss for me. I will. Okay, I love you too. Bye. Bye, honey.